Hi, my name is Gail Collins. I'm a field application engineer here at GateWorks. Um, today I'd like to show you how to flash the board using our utility JTAG USB V4. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first step will be to connect the JTAG programmer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Actually, let's so here I am connecting it. And you can see it came up as an FTDI USB serial device. So the first step is going to be to remove the FTDI SIO module that's loaded when the programmer is connected. Pseudo RM mod FTDI SIO. So the next step will be to download the firmware we want to program. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, we'll do two firmwares today. We'll do both the bootloader and the GSC, and I'll show you how to create a bin file at the end. Um, so the boot firmware you can find on uh, dev.gateworks.com, and then in this case I'm using Ventana uh, GW55. 14 with the uh, GW16111 uh, expansion module. So this uboot underscore SPL dot bin file is good for all Ventana boards. It's not dependent on um, what uh, flash, what your flash geometry is. Uh, and this is great if uh, your board is powering on but you can't um, maybe get output from it, this would be a great place to start uh, flashing this firmware. So I've already downloaded JTAG USB v4. You can get that off of dev.gateworks.com also. Um, it's in the uh, JTAG folder. So we'll just execute it one time for fun so we can see the usage. And you can see mine has a relatively recent build date. That's going to be something to check. Uh, if you're having difficulty flashing the board, uh, make sure you have the uh, have downloaded an image. You know, maybe that day. Um, another thing that you may run into is that this process can be really hit and miss using a virtual machine. So if you have um, workstation with Ubuntu natively installed or Linux natively installed, that's going to be the way to go. Or you can even use like a live boot uh, USB and a boot uh, USB on even a Windows machine and just add persistence to your USB when you create it. Um, <coughs> but I digress. Uh, the uh, op the uh, usage here shows uh, P for programming, uh, V is pretty seldom used. A lot of this is for older board families. Uh, we won't be uploading a file to flash. Um, M will be for the GSC firmware and X would be to verify it, but uh, I would say that that's unnecessary. So P, uh, P and M will really be the two switches that you'll be using relatively exclusively. Because uh, serial devices are part of the dial-out group, we're going to use sudo. and my firmware that I just downloaded. You don't have to do this, but I like to redirect error to standard out, or, or I'm sorry, I like to redirect error to null. Okay. At this point, um, you can apply power to the board. Like, let's say my board's unplugged, I'm gonna unplug it. So my board's unplugged. I'm going to go ahead and plug my board in, and I'm going to kick this off. That's all there is to it. 
Uh, next, let's go ahead and do the JTAG. Uh, as I said, I'm using a uh, 5514. So if you go on our GSC wiki page, uh, there's links for the GSC firmware, um, or you can just go to dev.gigaworks.com slash the board family slash images may have them in that directory. Uh, so let's do uh, download that file and then M for the GSC. This step's unnecessary and I'll prove it to you. Some of the other programs we have uh, will just spew all kinds of gibberish onto the screen and I'm just in the habit of using that and it doesn't hurt to use it or you can not use it. Um, the redirect. Alright, so there we go. Now the GSC's flashed and um, we can go ahead and continue using our board. Uh, the last thing I'd like to demonstrate is how to create your own bin file. So bin file is composed of uh, uBoot, SPL, and the UBI. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get. We are. I've already downloaded uh, Make Image JTAG. You can get this off of uh, dev.gateworks.com. I think it's in the JTAG folder. I can put a link in the description. So here we go. And here's the usage. And it just shows that you'll start with the SPL, the uboot.img, and then finish up with the UBI. There's a lot of different ways to use this program, and we spell it out pretty well on our wiki. So the first step is to get the uboot image. Looks like I already had one. We'll get the SPL. and a bin file, or I'm sorry, a UBI file. This board has a large flash geometry. Uh, you can check that in the bootloader by executing the command NAND info. Um, if it says 256, you're going to use large. If it says 128, you're going to use normal. Uh, in this case, my board uses large. And then redirect that to the file name you want to use. We'll call it test.bin. That's it. Now if we want to flash that, we can do it with uh, U JTAG USB V4. This is serial, so it could take a while, but uh, it'll go relatively fast. Either way, we can end the video here. Uh, if you have any questions about the process, please feel welcome to contact uh, support at gateworks.com. Have a great day.